Floyd Elementary fifth grade class of 2020, parents and family members. Welcome to the William Floyd Elementary fifth grade class of 2020 moving up ceremony video. As principal of the William Floyd Elementary School, it has been an honor to spend six years with the class of 2020. They began their time at William Floyd Elementary back in September of 2014 as kindergartners and officially become middle school students as they move up today in June of 2020. During our ceremony today, I will present three special awards to three fifth grade students. I will then share some final words of wisdom with the class. I will be followed by the classroom teachers who will present each student's name. Each classroom teacher will also announce students who will be receiving the prestigious Presidential Gold and Silver Awards. Once the classroom teachers are finished honoring their students, our student council president, Alyssa Wood, will speak to her classmates. Finally, our assistant principal, Ms. Ennis, will address the class of 2020 and close out our ceremony. So sit back and enjoy. I'd like to begin with one of the three special awards I will be presenting today. The first of the three awards is called the Office of the State Controller Student Achievement Award, presented by our State Controller, Thomas DiNapoli. The award recognizes a student who has shown academic excellence and the potential for leadership through involvement in activities that improve the school and the community. This year's award recipient is Alyssa Wood. Congratulations, Alyssa. I'd like to read to you what Alyssa's teachers, Ms. McKibben and Ms. Fanning, have written about her. Alyssa Wood is a prime example of a role model student. She's a hard worker who balances a very demanding school and gymnastics schedule. Alyssa never makes excuses when schoolwork becomes challenging. She always finds a way to push through and succeed. Alyssa is also highly involved in the school community, participating in drama club, band, and student council, serving as a student body president. She shows her, she shows her true character by always sharing a warm smile and making others feel comfortable. She devotes a lot of her time serving as school community by brainstorming and bringing special and community service events and ideas to reality. She's a bright star that brings endless optimism to those around her. We are so proud of the individual that she's developing into. We know she will continue to move mountains. Congratulations, Alyssa. Our second special award today is the Suffolk County Public Service Award from our Suffolk County Executive, Steve Ballone. The, the Suffolk County Public Service Award was created to recognize and honor the achievement of deserving students who have successfully combined academic success with a commitment to the community. This year's award is presented to Jessica Sambrisky. Congratulations, Jessica. I'd like to read to you now what Jessica's teachers, Ms. Meyer and Ms. Diara Lacasano have written about her. Jessica Sambrisky is an absolute joy. She's kind, caring, and her friendly character makes her a role model for her classmates. She's an inquisitive learner who enjoys analyzing situations and making new discoveries in all parts of the school day. She's frequently among the first to help and mentor her other classmates. She's an amazing student and she truly shines. She received honor roll all year and always challenges herself to push her limits. She was voted by her classmates to be class representative and is a member of student council where she serves as a job of secretary. She's, an active, she's active in many school activities, including drama club, math Olympiads, art club, and safety patrol. During the school year, you can hear her in the morning announcements and during virtual learning, she has continued to engage the students through her weekly Zoom announcements. She's really a remarkable student. Congratulations, Jessica. The third of our three awards today is called the Triple C Award. It comes from the Office of the Attorney General. The Triple C Award recognizes the character, courage, and commitment of New York's hardworking students. It honors students who have shown a commitment to learning, to their community, and to their fellow classmates. The award acknowledges their enthusiasm for learning and the desire to work hard, study, and achieve. This year's award is presented to Jaden James. Congratulations, Jaden. 
I'd like to read to you now what Jaden's teacher, Ms. Siano, has written about him. When I think of a student who has shown courage, commitment, and character, I think of Jaden James. Although Jaden has been identified as an exceptional learner and is a member of a specialized learning environment at William Floyd Elementary School, he is recognized throughout our school. This is due to the hard work Jaden has done to overcome communication challenges associated with his hearing loss. When others say they have retreated and isolated themselves, when challenged with one modality existed, Jaden has shown the courage to face multiple challenges and has found a place as a member of his fifth grade class. He serves on the student council and is a member of the safety patrol. He participates in clubs and has even served as a leader in our building's sign language club. Jaden's commitment to learning helped him overcome many obstacles. Jaden has developed the skills he needed to form relationships with students beyond the classroom. His kind heart and character are the foundation of which Jaden builds these relationships. He looks to support peers in need and is eager to help others, including adult staff. Jaden is eager to participate in activities designed to serve his classmates and the school. He's also met academic challenges head on and continually shown that hard work and persistence are the cornerstones to success. Congratulations, Jaden. Now I'd like to share a few final words with the class of 2020. I would like to congratulate you and your families for the academic and social achievements that you have accomplished at William Floyd Elementary School. I'm extremely proud of this graduating class of 2020. Over the past six years, I've watched you grow and mature into a respectful, intelligent, and successful group of students. You have demonstrated the ability to work hard, become leaders, and achieve many of the goals that you have set for yourselves. You have had the opportunity to create many special memories of William Floyd Elementary School over the years. These experiences have helped to shape the person that you have become, as well as the person that you wish to be. I encourage you to always strive towards self-improvement. When doing this, it is also important that you take the time to admire the rewards that your hard work has created. You should be extremely proud of your accomplishments at the William Floyd Elementary School. They will serve as a stepping stone for your future endeavors. As you transition into middle school, remember the many lessons that the wonderful teachers at the William Floyd Elementary School have taught you over the years. Embrace the challenges and opportunities that await you. Remember to continue working hard, demonstrating good citizenship, and trying your best in all of your endeavors. In your time at William Floyd Elementary, you have proven that you are capable of achieving great things. Never let anyone take that belief from you. Do not be afraid to try something difficult. Accept all challenges. Keep learning throughout your life. Choose your friends carefully. Open your minds to new experiences and your hearts to new people. Be faithful to your friends and to yourself. Hold on to your dreams and your values and enjoy the journey that lies ahead of you. You will be missed. Finally, before I turn it over to your classroom teachers, I'd like to share some details about the presidential gold and silver awards that some of you will be receiving. The Presidential Award for Academic Excellence, the Gold Award. This award is to recognize academic success in the classroom. It is presented to those students whose outstanding efforts have enabled them to meet the challenging standards of excellence. The Presidential Award for Educational Achievement, the Silver Award. The purpose of this award is to recognize students that show outstanding educational growth, improvement, commitment, or intellectual development in their academic subjects. It is meant to encourage and reward students who work hard and give their best effort in school. It has been a privilege to see all of you grow the past six years. 
Good luck to all of you during the next step in your educational journey in middle school. Please stay safe and healthy. To my 2020 fifth graders, I wanted to take this time to congratulate you on moving up to sixth grade and to let you know that you are a very special group and I will never forget our time together. I will fondly remember the team building games we played during advisory period. And I remember what an extraordinary group of inclusive, kind and generous people you are as I watched you demonstrate those qualities on a daily basis. I will remember our times enjoying a good historical fiction read aloud, as well as the smiles on your faces as you perform science experiments with your peers. I will also look back and smile at how hard you work to achieve success in solving very challenging math problems. I know you will take these character traits of kindness, grit, and determination to achieve much success in middle school and beyond. Congratulations. Elia Saju Hernandez, Aidan Alcadri, Presidential Gold, Daniel Arias Guzman, Stephen Baker, Mako Brito Sanchez, Presidential Silver, Amara Clark, Presidential Gold, Sarah Conklin, Presidential Gold, Brooklyn Cox, Allison Diaz, Dylan Flores Molina, Yesley Gomez Reyes, Presidential Silver. Alyssa Goslin. Karen Gutierrez, Presidential Silver. Christian Jones, Presidential Gold. Peyton King, Presidential Silver. Marissa Ledestro, Presidential Silver. Elizabeth Mayo, Presidential Silver. Gianna Mertens, Jair Miles, Kimberly Regan, Jetna Fatsler Falcom, Jonathan Sumbabrito. Jacqueline Ventura Larios, Presidential Silver. Noelis Villalta Garcia, Presidential Silver. Congratulations, boys and girls, I will miss you. my 2019-2020 fifth graders. I am so proud of each of you for all that you have accomplished this year. As you embark on your journey to middle school, I would like to leave you with a modified quote from Wonder by RJ Palacio, said by Principal Tushman at his school's moving up ceremony. When you reflect on this past year, I want you all to look at where you are now and where you've been. You've all gotten a little taller, a little stronger, a little smarter. But the best way to measure how much you've grown isn't by inches or the number of laps that you can now run around the track or even your grade point average, though those things are important for sure. It's what you've done with your time, how you've chosen to spend your days, and whom you have touched this year. That to me is the greatest measure of success. There's a wonderful line in a book by J.M. Barry. And no, it's not Peter Pan, and I'm not going to ask you to clap if you believe in fairies. But in another book by J.M. Barry called The Little White Bird, he writes, shall we make a new rule of life? Always try to be a little kinder than necessary. Kinder than necessary, because it's not enough to be kind. One should be kinder than needed. Why I love that line, that concept, is that it reminds me that we carry with us as human beings, not just the capacity to be kind, but the very choice of kindness. Children, what I want to impart to you today is an understanding of the value of that simple thing called kind. And that's all I want to leave you with today. But what I want you, my students, to take away from your fifth grade experience is the sure knowledge that in the future you make for yourselves that anything is possible. If every single person in this room made it a rule that wherever you are, whenever you can, you will try to act a little kinder than necessary, the world really would be a better place. Congratulations to all the fifth graders. 
At this time, I would like to announce the names of those who are in my homeroom. Please stand up and reflect on all of your accomplishments when your name is called. Edwin Acevedo Sansei, Hajaratu Barry, Presidential Gold, Ashton Benjamin, James Duca, Caitlin Fuentes Fuentes, Presidential Silver, Amelia Goico, Rodney Griffin, Madeline Jimenez Serrano, Presidential Silver, Mackenzie King, Presidential Silver, Vladislav Krichenko, Max Morina, Kai Mycourt, Caitlin Moore, Presidential Gold, Michael Paola, Presidential Silver, Jacqueline Papura, Alvira Rahman, Jake Ranieri, Presidential Gold, Janelle Samuels, Brianna Smith, Presidential Gold, Zainab Tariq, Presidential Silver, Stephen Villatoro Alvarez, Madison Weisbeck, Abigail Wiesman, Presidential Gold, Alyssa Wood, Presidential Gold, Julia Zazaro, Presidential Gold. Congratulations, boys and girls. Congratulations to the fifth grade class of 2020. On behalf of my fellow classmates, I would first like to thank our teacher and administrators for all they have done for us throughout our elementary school years. With all of your encouragement and guidance, it makes us feel like we are ready for tomorrow's challenges. Even though right now we are all apart, we want to thank our teachers for continuing to teach with all of their heart. Through these challenging times, it shows how amazing William Foy Elementary really is. Thank you to Dr. Fasciana, Miss Ennis, and the entire staff at William Foy Elementary to being, for being the best of the best. To my fellow classmates, it has been an honor to be this year's class president. Even though this is not how we imagined our fifth grade graduation to be, we have to remember that no matter where we are, it is still a time to celebrate our accomplishments. It is a time to celebrate our lessons learned, our adventures shared, and all the memories we have created. This is not a time to say a goodbye, but in time to look forward and set new goals. We must look ahead and dream of all the bright possibilities that our future holds. Life has given us lemons and we got to work and have made the best lemonade. It's time to realize that right now we are not missing the material things, but instead we miss our friends, our teachers, and most of all, our school. So as we enter into middle school, remember how much we miss school and each other, and remember to always choose kind. We are all in this together. Congratulations to the fifth grade graduating class of 2020, the class that they will never forget. Hello graduates. I am so sad about the way our time together was cut short so unexpectedly, but so proud of all of you for the hard work and dedication that you have continued to put forth in order to graduate. As you embark upon your new adventures in the middle school, I hope that all of you never forget the wonderful friendships and memories that you have experienced at the William Floyd Elementary School. I encourage you to always think of what you learned about the journey to success and continue to practice the virtues that we spoke about. I want to share some quotes with you now from my favorite Dr. Seuss book. You have brains in your head, you have feet in your shoes. You can steer yourself any direction you choose. You're on your own and you know what you know. And you are the guy who'll decide where to go. You'll look up and down streets, you'll look over them with care. And some you will say, I don't choose to go there. With your head full of brains and your shoes full of feet, you're way too smart to go down any not so good street. At this stage of your life, it is very important that you take charge of your future and that you recognize that you are responsible for you. I encourage you to continue to work hard and set goals for your future. Stay focused on those goals and don't let anyone or anything get in the way of achieving them. 
I hope that you have a fantastic summer and that I get to see you all really soon. Congratulations again and be well.